What do you mean you want to go home? The shift just got started. Welcome back to Sorry We're Open. No returns. We joined the wonderful world of retail. Where there's people in the bathrooms. I just came in here to introduce you, man. Jeez. And wall sphincters. And trucks. To try to murder you. Oh, it's a good thing I brought that broom. Can you imagine getting soft locked at the beginning of the game because you spent all your money on something else? Hi, ma'am. Hello. There's nothing on. What are you shopping for? What are you shopping for? She left that bag full of money. That's actually her money. There's nothing here. Everything must go! Everything must go in the garbage where it belongs. I need to clean up all these messes. Would the nearest manager please pick up on the counter? Phone on the counter, thank you. This phone? Other side of the counter, please. Fine. How'd you know that? Good, you picked up. Finally, someone with authority. Sorry about using the intercom. Didn't know you were in today. I'm the consultant in charge of the shipments for this store. I've been trying to get in touch, but as you can see, the floor is kind of lacking in inventory at the moment. Nothing on the shelves. No clothes. Not even produce. Same goes for electronics. The section isn't open yet. What are you going to sell with no inventory? Now I know the other stores have got some stock, but they're not willing to share with others, you know? Anyway, that's where you come in. Could probably find the delivery manifests in the trucks here and other locations. If you could bring me delivery manifests, I could get the punch cards you need. The store inventory expands and we can get back to working normally. Sounds like a win-win, right? Let's pick up the phone here to let me know. I do have one of those. I got it from the wall sphincter. General mer merchandise. Look at that, the shelves are all full now. Heh, <laughs> looks like you already got the punch card for customer service. Cool, I guess. I guess that's just a little jab of, uh... Hey, this game used to be something different. You would need to get that punch card by getting that. But then they went with the whole break room thing instead. How did all these messes happen when there's nothing on the shelves? I got an employee locker key. And trash. I was worried I didn't have the broom for that. Employee locker keys. And I also got bags full of money, which I should be using up. And I'm also out of brooms, so I need this for broom money. It's just like the edu educational system here in America. You gotta pay for your own materials. Comes right out of the manager's pockets. Alright, now get five broom. Five of each. Why did I spend all my money? Well, I have locker keys. The employee locker is now unlocked. You find seven pairs of the same style of sunglasses. Each labeled for each day of the week. And 40 bucks. Thank you. So management really is raiding the employee lockers. Spare shoes, a blanket, deodorant, toothpaste, an alarming amount of toilet paper. All the necessities. Now I know where to restock on toilet paper. That doesn't belong to the custodian, I'm pretty sure. Once I get some better employees, custodian isn't going to be working here anymore. Because I don't like their chance of missing. 
I mean, their mark is pretty good. It really helped me out with that truck. But once I find another bagger and a few other good people, they're gone. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Man, it's a good thing I got all those brooms and stuff, huh? Carts are everywhere. Where's the cart guy at? Seriously. Blowout sale! Yeah, they, they, they blowing everything out, alright, yeah. I agree that they definitely blown something out. How's this place still in business? What are they buying? This is probably rotten produce right here. Doesn't look like the cooler's on. I want to get access to this section over here. You need to, neither need a wet or a dry. I don't think you need to complete all of the cleanup. But most of the cleanup leads to things like this. Locker keys. Bags of money. I owe that guy 120 bucks. Well, actually, I don't owe him anything. But he might give me something cool for it. Yay, money! Ralph, Ralph, is that you? Hello! I'm your branch's corporate liaison. Here to address any issues slash concerns you may have. Because we here at corporate value your opinion slash feedback. So do you have any questions and slash or inquiries? I have several questions. Why did a truck try to kill me? Actually... Before we get to that, let's go over your current assessment. So far, you have lost one employees during your tenure as manager. And given the state of your store, it seems like your mannequin supply has some problems. Looks like you'll need some improvement there. But check your warehouse with any problems with this. Oh, thanks for the key. Let's take a look around and see if anything looks wrong, but when in doubt, Take the company car and steal from a sister location. Sir, is that legal? In short, just do your job. Thanks. Metal detected. Didn't clean out my pockets before leaving work today, they know. Oh hey, it's back in this area. This is where I met the wall sphincter. So this is a little shortcut. Did I even... I could have sworn I grabbed this lunch. That's weird. Back into the warehouse we go. I got a warehouse key. I need to find a warehouse door. This is not warehouse. This is a truck, I think. Maybe. It tried to kill me. I wasn't too pleased about that. There's, um... Something going on over here I need industrial cleaner for. There's more parts of the store floor I could go check out. But they require more brooms and stuff. Oh, hey, is there another plaque? Is that bagger? That doesn't open from this side. I could have sworn that, uh, that plaque up there in the corner wasn't there before. Okay, I got $84. I got lunches, and I got a bunch of money. One downside of this game is that you can't turn in money in bulk. You have to use them all individually. Three lunches! Ah, ah, ah. I got lots and lots of trash. I don't need this much trash. I'll put away 40 trash. That way I could buy more mops and brooms and such. And there's a neat trick. With customer service and all the other punch cards, you can go back to a previous day. And you can do that and shift over again. And just keep on getting $64. 
Let's keep it real. The employee, uh, the prospective employee plops what seems to be the resume in front of you. Nothing on this thing is remotely true. <laughs> but that's what that all this is for, right? Stalker! Stalker's also pretty good. They could be hidden, which allows them to evade attacks, and AoE that could do stuns. So Stalker is really good. Also, they don't have any pros or cons. So I'm going to preserve Stalker if I can. I'm just doing this so I could hire more employees. Supervisor. Increased attack power. No control over employee. But Supervisor is a massive liability. Because all she has is status effect abilities. She can mark and she can chew out. Also, when they say you can't control the employee, it means the employee might attack you. So no! That's bad. I could clean up a dry mess. It's fine. I'll be getting paid $64 at the end of the day anyway. Oh, those customers. And the dry mess. As long as you have brooms, you can skip over things you don't like if dry or wet mess show up. Oh, this guy again. Thanks for the 10 trash, buddy. Keep on eating the food and returning it. We're wait we're we're building a rap sheet on that guy. We're waiting until he steals a thousand dollars so we can throw him into clink. Missing carts! The ghost cart appears! Thanks for the trash! Bye! I love ghost cart. Ghost cart's the best. Clean up that dry mess. Thanks for the skips. It's better than getting attacked by rats. Oh, the kid's back. Oh. You know what? Best job I ever had. Wow. That's the fifth one today. Looking at their paper, you can see it. A few categories with some tally marks assigned them. Thanks for your cooperation. They told me to give people things if they answer, so here. Run along, kid, while you can. Thanks for the sugar. Let's restock the shelves. Oh no, I hate this one. Stretching to reach the products, you feel something pop in your back. Negative 2 HP to the crew, the crew becomes stunned. Why? It's my back! Why? I hate you. I hate you so much. Custodian is almost dead. I want Custodian to quit. You've got to quit. Let's do a night shift. Tuesday's got a night shift and some money. Maybe we could hire somebody. Or maybe not. It is the night shift, after all. 10 to 6. Let's take a quick break. You let your guard down. You hear something approach from behind. Uh-oh. Mannequin, what are you doing? Don't attack Stalker. Leave Stalker alone. Leave Stalker alone. We were stunned, so it got free turns. You custodian, you just quit. Please just quit, custodian. You're almost dead anyway. Go live, tell the story. Uh, uh, okay, custodian, yeah, custodian just took 999s. The cards seriously just do uh, only like one point of damage. You missed that one, try another. Hey, I got a question. There is an ability in this game that lets me revive things. I'm very curious what happens if you revive somebody that quit. I'm gonna have to try that one of these days. Maybe I'll have a garbage employee I don't want. But the bagger, 
Or, I mean, Stalker. Stalker is asset to team. I don't want. I really don't want to do either of those things, really. Oh, okay. Ah! It bit everybody. Oh yeah, that's just normal tinnitus. I always have that. Clean up dry mess. You cl your eyes close for a moment. You're disappointingly still here. Can't tell if it's the trick of the light or a reflection, but you see a moving shadow in the ceiling. Pretty sure you're not the only one on the floor at the moment. I could tell you right now, don't do that one. Especially when we're kind of hurting the way we are. Whipping your light in front of you, which is a total abandonment of logic, reveals a basic mannequin display. They're all posed as they were, having a discussion only they could know about, lasting days, weeks, even months, or at least till the next seasonal holiday. The thought unnerves you. Well, at least it ain't a downside. It's a guaranteed downside if you'd pick the other one. Wet mess, yay! Darn tinnitus. I don't want to take a break again, because I don't want to get murdered by a mannequin. If you take a break during the day, it's healing. If you take a break during the night, it's usually a battle. Turn into the customer service counter, you see that somehow a bunch of shopping carts and mannequins from the store floor got placed behind the counter. It's a pretty fragile mess, so moving just one thing will clear it out. I don't want to fight the mannequins. We'll fight the carts. You gotta fight them to clean them. I don't, I don't like having low health. Could somebody pass me a cigarette? That would be great. I don't even smoke, and I want a cigarette right now. Especially if I choose to block, I don't take any damage from the cigarette, which is great. Make yourself hidden, stalker. I got this. I'm chewed out and blocking. Fast approaching. How about my goof-off abilities? Go! Get goofed! No stuns there, unfortunately. Go, Kurtz! I throw the trash all over the ring! Store manager Danny DeVito. The space behind the counter cleared up for now. Co-workers start passing by. Oh, oh, oh there is a night shift. You see them side-eye you as you catch your breath. Nothing to see here. Just fighting the carts. Oh, one, one last horror story, huh? I don't want to even know what that wet mess was. How did it get there at night? Thank you. Thank you for the money. Thank you for giving me an excuse to get rid of Custodian. We also had some bags some with some money in it. Now I got a bunch of money. Let's head out back out onto that floor. I was kind of hoping to hire some more people, though, but I could always do that on the off-screen later. We're just doing Monday Shift over and over again. Because, it, as you saw, the Wednesday Shift is both a day and a night shift. So you gotta do both. Without rest. I need to make sure I have a full team by then. So let's head to Electronics. Messy, messy, messy. Look at all this mess. Pizza would have a heart attack. Also, how much money do I got? 99 bucks. I don't have enough for that guy. I need to pay that guy his 120. I do have some employee locker keys. All I need is to open three lockers and I got his money. And then he comes back in every Friday looking for more money. He calls it a paycheck. 
What does he think I am? Some kind of money machine? Does he think I'm made out of money? I gotta buy the, the brooms? I gotta buy the mops? I gotta pay them to do their job? And they don't even do it properly. I mean, Stalker here just rides them like go-karts. This uses the power of, I don't know, positive thinking or something to make them go really fast. It'll detect my butt. De you detected my butt. I had a butt replacement. This is insensitive, sir. I asked them for a plastic butt, but my insurance wouldn't cover it. Uh, oh, uh, Ralph is gone. The son of the shepherd. So I think there's nowhere else we could really explore. And I think if I try going outside again, I might get attacked by a truck again. I don't know. There's two ways to get to where I need to go. One of those is doing that, that double shift. Hey, wait, there's another one now? There's another one now. Oh, okay, so these are all the employees that die. So, yeah, I, I lost uh, Bagger and I lost Custodian. So now they have a plaque up there. I don't know what happens if you fill the wall. Company car is used for traveling to other branches or an occasional joyride, but I don't have the key for it. I can make up the difference with the lockers. I think I'm gonna pay him his money. I'll give that guy his money. We'll open up the rest of these lockers. A bag of suspicious powder. Oh no. Uh-oh. So I've always used for demonstrations. But never opened. What kind of demonstrations? How to clean up wet messes? Cleanliness announcement. If you ever come across any trash anywhere, pick it up and throw it into garbage. Go to the restroom, wash your hands before going back to work. Don't be disgusting. It's as simple as that. So there's some red stained napkins inside. Some look more fresh than others due to the color. Mmm, fresh napkins. A collection of hair ties. They look to be from different people. Why? That was custodian's locker, I bet. I knew they were creepy weirdo. A pumpkin spice scented candle! Somebody's taking a bite out of it. They peck and love Autumn. They peck and love Autumn. Okay, let's go give that guy his money. There you go. 120 bucks. Oh, you actually found him! Damn, I thought I was really screwed there. Listen, I gotta be honest. Please explain. It's, uh, pretty useful to have some extra cash on hand sometimes, right? I don't make enough to technically keep my salary at the bank without paying fees and crap. My bank used to be like that, yes. You need 500 in your bank at all times or we charge you $15 a month to keep it there. So I've been keeping my money at the store. Anyway, try to keep this under wraps, yeah? So, uh... All I have is this, in return, if you want it. Union card, paid leave. We got a union skill. I'm gonna go ahead. Thanks again. So union cards are new skills. Recovers HP, makes an ally hidden. Costs $20. I have a healing spell. Cool. Um... I'm going to wrap it up here, but in the, the meantime, in between in this video and the next one, I'm going to do more of the Monday shifts and get some more employees because uh, 
me and me and Stalker alone can't do it all. And I'll probably be filthy richer by the time that happens too, because sixty-four dollars a day, two more employees—that's about hundred twenty bucks. Good night, folks.